With the new MMR system coming into play this week, I wanted to look at performance based MMR. This is where your MMR is influenced based on your individual performance in the match, instead of being purely based on whether you won or lost. Now let's discuss this approach and see if it would be suited to Dota or not. First off we have to determine the performance of the player. Did they play their hero above average or below average this game? You can do this by looking at various different numbers such as GPM, XP per min, uh, your amount of last hits, attendance, any number which is there. Maybe how many heroes you hit with an echo slam or the amount of wards that you dewarded. There's a number of factors that you can use to determine if someone played above or below average. Now this might seem like a really good idea when you look at it first but there's a lot of problems with it. The single biggest problem is exploitation. Players are already at the moment just spamming heroes over and over again. I do it myself and I know that a lot of others do. And that you improve so much at this individual hero that you're not improving all your mechanics as a whole. So that your MMR could be falsely gained in the short period of time that the hero you're spamming is really strong. So the MMR doesn't it's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty accurate in terms of saying that, hey, if you're roughly around this MMR, but saying that like the difference of 100 or 200 MMR can sometimes vary depending on what heroes you're playing, or even the roles that you play. I've categorized three different ways where players can exploit the ranking system. The first is by trying to have high values which skew off the system. So if you have a hero like Earthshaker, it might be very highly desirable to hit three or four man echo slams. And if you hit one hero echo slams, you might figure out, oh, the system doesn't really like that. And over time, if you play enough games, you can figure out and reverse engineer it and say, hey, it's better off if I just don't use my echo slam every time and just constantly try and hit three man echo slams. Even though in certain cases you miss out on kills or you miss out on even potential team fights to be won because your teammate didn't use their echo slam. Now this can happen with other things such as GPM where people will be constantly split pushing or playing the game in such a way which will benefit them and make them look significantly better than their teammates statistically. There's been things in the past with calibration of where people figured out that if you had high hero damage or high hero healing that you calibrated above 4k at least sometimes even close to 5k and how did players do this they picked Zeus spammed their ultimate every time it was off cooldown play Oracle by soul ring use HP removal heal themselves back up constantly doing the same thing over and over again just to boost up their values and make them seem like significant outliers within the system so the second way is by exploiting with parties so you get two to three people together and you make one of them people look really strong or better through statistics. And sometimes it can even go to the point of where the party members will stop helping the other two or three players just so that this one individual account will seem like they're statistically better than everyone else. This is potentially easier than doing it individually because now you don't need to know particular statistics about your hero that are being categorized. You just need to make one person look really good in your match. The third way of exploiting is even something greater as a whole. Where you get a community together and you play a specific hero. Generally a low played hero, let's say like Visage. Everyone plays Visage for a week or two and brings down Visage's average performance. You keep playing the hero poorly, you keep dying, everyone's doing it, there's a large group of people which are bringing this hero's average performance down. Now once this week or two goes by, now everyone starts playing this hero like normal. What ends up happening is you're performing well above average, even though you're playing the hero very mediocrely because of past performances. So this can sometimes break the system as a whole. Now that I looked at some potential exploitations for a performance based MMR system, what could actually happen as well if you added this system to Dota is that it disincentivizes unique playstyles. So people who play these self-sacrificial supports 
when you have say four cores and you have a crystal maiden who's going out and doing all these things that no one else wants to do there's important roles in dota and what could happen is that players would lose mmr for playing these types of roles or you could have a marana that is roaming and statistically it may look really bad what kind of impact that she had in the first 15 minutes but another Marana player might come along and she has a really high GPM at 25 minutes and that might seem even better to the system but wait, she's done nothing, she's only AFK farm the jungle so the whole system would be r incredibly hard to align up so that it would be fair and a cater to different playstyles now that I looked at some potential exploitations for a performance based MMR system what could actually happen as well if you added this system to Dota is that it disincentivizes unique playstyles. So people who play these self-sacrificial supports when you have say four cores and you have a crystal maiden who's going out and doing all these things that no one else wants to do. There's important roles in Dota and what could happen is that players would lose MMR for playing these types of roles. Or you could have a Marana that is roaming and statistically it may look really bad what kind of impact that she had in the first 15 minutes but another Marana player might come along and she has a really high GPM at 25 minutes and that might seem even better to the system but wait she's done nothing she's only AFK farm the jungle so the whole system would be r incredibly hard to align up so that it would be fair and a cater to different playstyles and then the other problem is patches sometimes new talents come into place that can increase your GPM there's new abilities there's hero reworks there's new items there's just so many things to account for when making a system and it requires an awful lot of work to keep this up to date but wait there's a solution to this let's assume that a system was put in place that it would constantly evolve it would analyze the data and figure out where players are exploiting it take action to it and cover up these exploitations that are put into place. So essentially you're talking about machine learning here, of where you're getting smarter as you go along. Even if it can learn and get better, it still can't adapt to completely new changes. If we look at uh, going from pre 7.0, we had a new talent system. There's no statistics to base talents off. It's a completely new mechanic to the game that was never there before. And if something comes along like that or new items comes along, we have no idea what kind of impact they're going to make. Having a system which can adapt to enormous changes can be incredibly challenging and it's probably something that could even be inaccurate. So it's not something that players would find that useful. And a lot of the time the best idea or approach behind this would be to pause performance based MMR when new patches get released or just on a hero that got reworked or when there's new items and such. This would give time for the machine learning to analyze the data from current matches. Let's say the pause time was two weeks. Now MMR would still act the same, but the performance based part would not be influenced by your MMR. Well, having a system that pauses the performance based part can be confusing to the player base. Do you know if it's analyzing your data right now in this match or in the next match? So what exactly is a good solution and do we have a place for performance based MMR or are people just going to constantly exploit it? On top of all of this it costs time and money it's a difficult thing to do and in the end will it even be better than the plus or minus 25 MMR system? Now one idea that I had was to only have performance based statistics on players who lose matches so it would act as a punishment system for people who feed the people who perform the worst like downright the worst on the team or very low below average that they would lose more MMR so instead of losing 25 you could actually be losing up to 30 what do you actually think about performance based MMR? Should it be added to Dota? Like, What's your opinion? Tell me down in the comment. I want to get a discussion going. I want to hear what your thoughts are.